Hey there, what a cutie you are. Do you want to sniff my hand? I bet you need a hug or maybe a kiss. If you've ever wondered how to approach a dog correctly, well, that's definitely not how you do it. Can you guess why? If you'd like to learn how to approach a dog correctly in a way that is non-threatening and might lower your risk, stay tuned. The Border Collies and I would love you to join us. Yay, Over the years that I've owned dogs, I've had a few nervous and sensitive dogs. With the particularly sensitive dogs, I began to notice that common things would happen when strangers would greet. Depending on how the person greeted my dog, my dog would either relax, back away, or sometimes tense up and show signs of fear. People are just generally not taught how to approach a dog correctly. And I would find that some of the things people are taught would actually result in a negative response from some of my dogs. I've had people insist that they must stare down my dog or jut a fist into my dog's face because that's what they've been taught to do. But truthfully, both of those things will just scare my dogs and will make it much harder for them to relax and trust that person. When I first got Asha, she was terrified of many new things because she had not been socialized as a puppy. She was so scared that I was walking her across a parking lot and she basically froze. So I picked her up and a woman came running over but before I could stop her, she had kissed Asha right on the nose. And that's how I found out that Asha wasn't a biter. But honestly, don't ever kiss a strange dog. Here are some do's and don'ts for approaching a new dog. Wrong. Rushing up to a dog. You're so cute! <laughs> Walking slowly, as in creepy stalking. This can make some dogs nervous. Is he friendly? This may seem obvious, but raising your arms and yelling may also have a very bad outcome, even if you're afraid of dogs. Maybe even especially if you're afraid of dogs. Right, walking up casually, then asking if it's okay to approach the dog. Would your dog mind if I said hello? Wrong, staring and approaching head on. Your dog has beautiful eyes. Right. Approach from the side with indirect eye contact using your peripheral vision. You have a really beautiful dog. Wrong. Leaning or hovering over a dog, even when lowering your body to get nearer to the dog. Wow, are you ever cute. Right. Present your side to the dog. Well, aren't you a cute puppy? Hmm? Avoid looking directly at the dog's eyes. Wrong. Jutting out your hand for the dog to sniff. Well, hello there. Right, let the dog approach you. Are you gonna come over and say hello? Wrong, if the dog seems nervous or afraid, avoid close interaction and don't reach for or pet the dog. You look like you need a hug. Right, praise or just admire the dog instead of physically interacting. Well, you have a very nice looking dog. Have a great day. If the dog approaches you and looks relaxed or rubs against you, you can pet the dog, but do it briefly. Let the dog decide if it wants more. So no more than a few seconds of petting. If the dog returns and wants more, then again, pet the dog briefly and allow the dog to have a choice to move away. Some dogs will be okay with brief touch and some really enjoy it but some also get nervous and don't always like it. It may even feel irritating to them. Dogs are such amazing companions, but we sometimes have to remember that we don't speak exactly the same language. Your dog speaks, well, <laughs> dog, and you probably speak some form of human. So in trying to understand a bit more of their language, we can have a more meaningful communication and both of us can get to know each other just a little bit more. By keeping that conversation going, our relationships with dogs can be much more meaningful. And here's another video about how to make life better for you and your dog. See you there.